Hey everybody! Well today we're going to take a look at another one of these brand new LEGO sets from their Diorama line of Star Wars sets. This is the Death Star Trash Compactor. So the infamous scene that we saw in A New Hope when everybody was getting smushed in the uh, trash compactor. Looks like they've done a really good job uh, replicating that scene. This is from their Diorama line like I mentioned which has these really nice bases. They have these printed tiles that have quotes from the movie which I think is really cool. Uh, this set though, oh man, $90 for this set, 90. And it's not even that big of a set. It's got 802 pieces and it's set number 75339. But uh, after taxes, it was almost like $100 for this set. I don't know if the price is gonna justify this, but we'll see. It does come with six minifigures and maybe that's why they uh, jacked the price of this thing so high. But I, when I went to the Lego store to buy this, and the trench run set, uh, there was not a long line at all. There was maybe only 10 people in line, and that was it. So I think the price is scaring away a lot of people when it comes to these sets, also because the uh, UCS um, land speeder is coming out just five days later, so maybe they're saving up for that. I don't know. But you can see here the walls do come crushing together. It's like a sliding mechanism that you can uh, build on there, which is pretty nifty. And finally, R2-D2 finally gets a back print. For all these years, his back has always been blank and it's always driven me crazy. And they finally, somebody finally got smart and put some back printing on there. It's about time and I hope that's permanent. Also, 3PO I think is an exclusive print on here. He's got printing on his arms and uh, some on the legs that I think are different on this set than any of the other ones. But it looks like a pretty cool set. We'll see if the price justifies, you know, the set itself. So uh, anyway, let's take a look at how many bags are in this set. So there is only four bags in this set. Five if you count this extra small bag of number two here. So four bags and three base plates in a $90 set. Four bags, $90. Hmm. Yeah. Here is the instruction book and interestingly it is a vertical book. I don't know if I've seen that all too often with Lego. Some interesting stuff in here talking about the uh, trash compactor scene. I haven't really read through this, but you can check that out. Uh, some more, oh this is the other languages. Some pictures of the uh, scene itself. Some more stuff going on over here. Uh, I'll have to read through all of these. Very cool. And uh, over here, picture of when it's all crushed together. And <laughs> yeah, that is a funny scene where 3PO thinks they're dying in there <laughs> from all their yelling. It's pretty funny. All right, so uh, the rest of this is the build itself, starting with the base, of course, and then you just start working on all the rest of this. But uh, yeah, all right, well, so far, I don't know. I guess we'll see if this is worth that price. It's still kind of shocking to me this is a $90 set. All right, well, let's start with the minifigures. So we got Luke and Leia here with their more serious look. Now, I don't think there's uh, any, well, I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm not an expert on these guys, but uh, I don't know if that's a new print for the Stormtrooper outfit. Um, I, I've seen different versions of it where there's like a belt and stuff on there. This one, I don't know if that's one that they've used before, but these are pretty much the standard versions of Leia and Luke. You can see the back printing here, and Luke comes with the gun as well. Let me show you their alternate faces. So I just flipped their hair pieces around and you can see that the faces are not quite as serious as the other ones. So it's nice that we do have alternate faces on these, but I think the figures are pretty much just the standard ones. Here is Han and Chewie. Now Chewie is the same Chewie that we've had for a long time now. And I've always liked uh, the way he looks. He looks really good. That pole that he's carrying is the pole that we see in the movie that they're uh, using to try to wedge between the two walls when they're uh, closing in on them. The print for uh, Han Solo's Stormtrooper outfit is exactly the same as the Luke Skywalker one. I would say the prints look really good on these, at least on mine. They seem to be pretty clean and crisp over there. And of course, uh, Han has got an alternate face, so let's take a look at that. And here it's more of a smiling and happy face, so yeah, that's really cool. But I think I'm going to use the serious faces on this since that was a tense moment in the movie. And here is C-3PO and R2-D2. I really love these guys. So I think this is an exclusive print for 3PO because um, there's a different one for the Landspeeder set, as far as I know. Uh, this one has the more, you know, the silver leg on it, and I think the leg printing is different on this one. Uh, you know, I mean, don't like I said, I'm not an expert on these figures, but uh, I do love that they kind of redid the printing on him. They also have the arm printing, which is really cool. I'm really glad 
they did that. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing for all C-3PO figures in the future, but uh, I think that was really good. And of course, R2, oh, finally, finally R2 gets that back print. That looks so good. I have hated how for forever his back has been left blank. I just don't know why they never put back printing on there. Probably just money, of course, but uh, this is a much needed improvement. That looks really, really good. I hope that's permanent. And I kind of still think that R2's legs, I wish they'd kind of update those. It might be time for an update on R2-D2's legs. I don't know. They just look so weird to me. And <laughs> I mean, they're, they haven't changed either. And it'd be nice if we could get a middle leg for him, his third retractable leg would be nice to have and I've seen people do uh, mods for that which works really well but I do love these figures a lot I think they did a good job on them and here is the trash compactor itself so you know I gotta say I really like this set I like it a lot it was really fun to build um, the details are really well done on it it does look like the compactor I mean the way they did the coloring on it the way there's all that trash scattered uh, about in it and the operation of it is really smooth. I'll show you how that works. Uh, we'll take a closer look at all of this. And also the back, the way they did the uh, detailing. I mean, they even detailed the back wall, which I thought was kind of nice. And we'll take a look at the back on the other side as well. But just kind of wanted to give you the overall look of this. But there are some things I uh, think they could have done to improve it. So taking a closer look at this now, we see the tiles on the front, the Lego Star Wars tile, and then the one that says... One thing's for sure, we're all going to be a lot thinner, <laughs> the quote from Han Solo. So there are no stickers, at least on this one, and the trench run set, which is very nice. We also have those nice silver grills on the front that go around the whole frame of this, on the side as well, and back here. And I kind of think it's a nice touch, just to make it look a little more cool. There's that nice detailing that they decided to do on the back, a little bit of greebling on there. So uh, one thing I thought that was interesting is... For whatever reason, I thought there was going to be random pieces that were going to be scattered about in here. Uh, just like, you know, pieces of trash and stuff. At least from the pictures that I saw, that's what it looked like. But, um, I don't know, maybe they just did that for effect. But they don't actually do it in the set. Which makes sense, because when this compacts, you got to have those flat areas clear so that the, the uh, walls will come together like that. And plus you don't want it to get all jammed up or scratch up the minifigures. And I'll show you how all of that works, and I'll put the minifigures in here too so you can see how everything comes together. So uh, all the trash and stuff in here is in its own little spot, which I think is kind of cool how they figured all that out. It was really fun building all of these trash bits. There's like a droid leg right there, and there's just random things that are scattered about or tipped over. Pieces of piping, that little pipe there, uh, it's like a flexi tube that will bend. That red thing is the Dianoga, the snake, like, uh, one-eyed eel creature that grabs Luke by the leg. And I kind of wish they uh, would have done something a little better with that. It would have been cool if they had a specialized piece for it. Because, you know, as it is, it just looks like a pipe with a, one of those red things on it. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wish it would have been a little bit more interesting. But it does, uh, uh, you can move it. As you can see here, it's, like, adjustable. And most of this stuff is stuck in place. But I think they did a good job. And there's some, uh, one piece in here that I've never seen before. I think it's that one. So in the corner here, you can see how that looks. So Chewie stands on those two studs. Uh, Han Solo stands on those two. Luke lays in that little spot. And then Leia stands over here in this corner. So they all have their own specific area. I also like this back door. Um, I always notice those little lights on the back door in that scene. And they actually replicated that very nicely. And that little X piece in the middle. It was really fun to build that. That little section's its own build and it all goes together and I think overall it looks really cool now when we flip this thing around you get another nice little surprise and this is the little alcove for 3PO and R2 so when they are at that computer console trying to access the controls to shut down the uh, compactor <laughs> it's really cool how they added that scene but you know I don't know as much as I like this I the only issue I see with it is that it is on the back and nobody is going to display their set like this. There's just no way. You're going to display your set this way. You want to see all the cool stuff that's going on. So I, I don't know. As much as I love that they added this in, I wish they would have just done a separate build, like a, a little mini build, like they did with the Seinfeld set. So what I mean is, is on the Seinfeld set here, you can see the set itself. But then they had this nice little side build of Jerry's stage when he does his little comedy routine. So I really wish they would have done something like that for the... Uh, the compactor set. I think that would have worked out really cool. 
Especially considering how expensive this set is, it would have been nice to have this as a separate build. I was trying to think if there's a way I could take this off and just make this its own little thing, but I'm not sure how much of that is supporting that back wall right there, but I suppose people can make their own mocks for it. All right, so I got everybody placed where they're supposed to be in the set right here. So now you got these little handles that are here on the side right here and right over here. So you just push them in together. When you do, the walls compact all the way. I mean, they close in pretty close like that. And it works really good. And see how it slides out of there? And those tiles make it a really smooth movement. There's also a, a track that runs along the bottom here and on this side, which enables that to slide. And I love that flexi tube in the middle. I love how that compacts as well. So you can see it gets pretty, pretty tight in there. <laughs> I think it looks really good. Yeah, I think out of all the sets, I think this is my favorite, just because it has this action. I always love when they add a little play action in some of these sets. So here on the bottom, you can see how you just slide it. It goes all the way in like that. So it's really cool. It's a very smooth mechanism. There's like a little track. The detail on the back wall actually acts as a track as well, which is really cool. And then the edges of the frame of the base keep it from sliding all the way off like that. If I can zoom in on there, you can kind of see the track that's down there. See it? It's on the very bottom. And that's what enable, enables this to uh, slide along that bottom right there. It's very, very cool. So I did have to tweak one little area in here. So if you look right down there, see that little corner right there? See how it's kind of got a little mark on it? I actually had to sand the corner of that, that section right there because when these two pieces go together, right here see how they meet each other right there well they kept bumping into each other and i could not get them to go past each other so i just sanded that corner down so it's rounder and then that way when they come together like that you can actually even see them bumping together right there but they slide past each other so if you have a problem with these not closing all the way uh, that's probably what's causing it but they should come all the way closed so that they're super close like that for, for uh, the longest time, I was messing around with this, and I didn't think it closed any closer than it did. And then I found out that that was causing a jam. So there we go. So just something to keep your eye out for in case you're having a problem with that. Okay, so let's talk about the price of this set. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is a $90 set. $90 for this thing. And I don't know, I just, I, I'm still having a hard time with the price. Now granted there is six minifigures in here. We get 3PO-R2, Leia, Luke, Han, and Chewie there. And maybe that's why the, the price of it is $30 more than the uh, the trench run set, but they're actually the same exact size. So when we put these sets side by side you can see they're they're the same size as far as like the uh, length of them. It's the same amount of studs. The uh, trash compactor is about one stud wider than the trench run but that's only because that little section that hangs off but other than that these sets are the same size and yet there's such a huge difference in price so i already did a review on this one if you want to check that video out you can uh, that's the trench run and it runs for at uh, 60 dollars retail and then you got this one for 90 dollars now granted there is no minifigures in this set and uh, there is less pieces in this set as well. This set has 665 pieces, and this one has 802. But you have to remember that a good portion of those pieces is on the floor here. If you look at the floor, those are all one-by-one one tiles. All that water and some of the brown mud and stuff. There, In fact, I think, if I counted right, there's 101. <laughs> so there's like 101 single tiles in there. And you got a whole bunch all over the walls here and on both sides. So, you know, that piece count of 802, you got to remember that a good lot of that is those little studs. So, therefore, you know, the 30 extra dollars has got to be the minifigures. But are these minifigures 30 extra dollars worth compared to the other set over there? As I mentioned in the Trench Run review video, there was when I went to get this set on the day that it came out, this one, the Trench Run and the Yoda's Hut, uh, there was only like 10 or 12 people in line, and I've never seen that before. I don't know if the prices of these sets are scaring people off or they're just going to try to buy it together with some other Star Wars sets that are coming out pretty soon and they're just going to combine it all together, which may very well be, but I've heard nothing but complaints about how expensive this set is, and I have to, uh, 
I have to agree. It's like, you know, $90 for this. I was almost 100 like I mentioned, after tax for this set. And I don't know. I mean, the only th reason I love this one so much is because it does have the walls that come crushing in. I wasn't really uh, wanting the Yoda's Hut. I know that's pretty much the odds-on favorite amongst everybody for these three sets. But for whatever reason, just looking at it, it didn't really appeal to me that much. And there wasn't really much to do with it. And even the Trench Run set, as nice as that looks, um, I, I'd say that uh, it's probably, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. I just like this one because it's got that, that squeezing wall feature. I, if you can add a feature to it, I think that definitely adds a lot to it. And yes, there is six minifigures in here, so maybe that boosted the price. But at the same time, I don't know. How do you guys feel about these Lego sets lately? You know, they've been marketing. Lego now knows that uh, adults have pretty much taken over this hobby. I mean, they, they have. Every time I go to the Lego store for um, a set and I'm standing in line, it's all adults. There are no kids in the line. It's, it's absolutely hilarious. So Lego knows now that adults have pretty much taken over this whole hobby. And in fact, this set and the Trench Run and I believe the Dagobah set are all geared towards adults. They're the 18 plus sets which is kind of funny because you know kids can build this just fine but they're marketing it to adults so because we are adult fans of lego are they purposely bumping up the price of these sets because they know we have more money to buy these things or more uh disposable income to buy stuff like this i mean i almost kind of feel like we're getting gouged a little bit is that how you guys feel about this because i kind of sometimes do and especially with this set i really had to decide if I wanted to buy this or not. I mean, if you are going to get this set and you're not in a hurry, I would definitely say wait until this goes down in price because $90 is just too much for it. As much as I love it, I think, you know, I think if it can come down about $20, maybe to $70, that would be okay. Or even, you know, 60 would be even better. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure. Some people would say they'd want it to be even lower than that. And, and maybe so, you know, um, I mean, these, these minifigures, there's nothing special about the molds. It's the same molds that they've been using over and over. So Lego has already got their money back on those molds. The only thing different is the uh, the 3PO and R2-D2 uh, prints that they have new prints on here. But, I mean, how expensive is that? But, you know, and I am glad to see that they at least did that. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this set. And maybe you guys don't want to get it at all. But when I was talking to people in line, they were all saying that they wanted the Dagobah set the most. And this one second, and then the trench run was probably the third uh, favorite amongst everybody in that order. But anyway, I really like it. I just wish it wasn't $90. <laughs> All right, well, that's my review of this set. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe, too. I'd very much appreciate it. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.